Yasmin, is there any red flag, something that you should like, you know, advise on what to avoid to make a good first impression? Because again, as they might get a lot of like, you know, emails, we also get a lot of emails, right? On a monthly basis and, and the people that want to apply. What is uh, those one, two, three things that now you see as a sort of patterns of red flags that it's like, okay, I, I don't even want to reply to this person. I don't even want to jump on a call. Is there anything that you, that, that like maybe, again, that you don't like professionally speaking, how to present yourself? Is there anything that you like, okay, if you, are, if you are someone that wants to get like under an agency, listen to these because you shouldn't do this, this, this and that. Yeah, so I've been on a few just intro calls to meet the people. Um, and it's always been, in these instances, it's been people that have expressed interest to us. It's not someone that I like went out and scouted myself. Um, so, you know, they're just in like really loud environments or their camera is off and I can hear them like laughing in the background. Like they're like, in those cases, I can tell that they're not prepared or in a way like didn't give the respect to that initial call because you know like I said professionalism is huge um so that's one thing that I really look out for I look to see like I mean you could even be in the car but as long as you're just like giving you know me and my other colleague that's usually on these calls the time and the respect and you know we can tell that you're focused and devoted to this call then you know that's something that we look into as well um as far as like content I look to make sure that their page is pretty clean. And what I mean by that is like, we try to steer away from like swear words or from like super raunchy content. And it's interesting because some creators don't necessarily see a big deal if they have that. And then, you know, if and when we've had a few instances where we've signed that person on and then they notice that they're not getting so much work, I then have to step in and say, hey, like, you know, we advise you from day one that this may be, a turn off, so to speak, for a brand. And maybe this brand is someone that you really want to work with. But in order to do so, like, we need to clean it up a little bit. Because, you know, th this, odd this video could get pushed out to like their certain audience demographic, they could be younger, it could be inappropriate. So um, I would say clean content, and just how you present yourself from day one are going to be things that we look out for.